Now that we know how the text tool works, let's talk about text runs. Runs allow us to break up our text into sections. Typically, we use this when we want to apply a variety of styles or modifiers to different parts of our text block. So let's go up to our text object in our hierarchy and open it up. And you'll see that by default, we have one text run. But let's say, for example, I want to change the color of my name. If I was to select my text object again and go down here and change the color to red, this color change affects all the text. So what we can do instead is to select our text and then highlight the specific part of our text that we want to change and then go over here and tap run from selection. As you can probably guess, this creates a new text run from our selected text. If we look up here, you can see that we now have three text runs. One for the first part of the text, another for our newly created run, and a third for the last part of the text. If we highlight our text object, I can go over here and create a new text style by clicking plus. Down here, you can see that we have style two. I'm just gonna call it name style, and I can change the color of the font. And we can now apply this text style to a specific text run by clicking here. And we'll select run two. Awesome. Now let's highlight that specific text run and go over here. And you can see that there's a variety of ways that we can manage our text runs. First off, I can change the text itself. And you can see that updated down here. I can merge this specific text run with the next, like that. I can merge it with the previous text run, like that. Or I can simply delete the text run, like that. We can also select which text style we want to use from here as well. If we open up a timeline, you can see that these properties are animatable. I can create a keyframe for the text run and go forward and change this to Ross. And you'll see that the name is animated. And we can also set a keyframe for the style and another one as well. 